Now I want to be upfront and honest with you about the entrepreneurial journey. Before you get started, your mindset is a huge factor. Going into entrepreneurship and running and building up, creating a business, it's a daunting and difficult task. There are going to be times where you feel like you are alone in the world. There will be times where you feel like you are under, misunderstood. There will be times where you feel like you are outright crazy for having this idea and going after this idea. It is going to be difficult. There are going to be times where you do not know what you're doing. There will be times where you run into difficulties. There will be times where you have to figure things out on the fly. There will be times where you feel like you're over your head. There will be times where you will feel like you shouldn't be doing what you're doing or that you're crazy for doing what you're doing. There will be so many different obstacles and things that arise along your journey that will try to persuade you to stop and to turn around and go back. But I promise you that if you stick to your journey, if you stick to your path, if you make the correct preparation, you will be in a better position to continue to succeed well beyond the times where the folks that don't give up and give in. But once you start, you are constantly progressing as long as you're growing, you're learning from different mistakes that you will ultimately make and you're improving as you go, you can reach your destination. Nobody starts off with, with anything in life knowing exactly how to do it. Think of from the moment you're born, you're not able to run and walk and, or even crawl. You have to learn those things. And even as you start to learn those things, you stumble, you fall. Same thing goes for entrepreneurship. If you go out and you get a new job tomorrow, you're going to mess up on some of the tasks initially until you get down the exact procedure that the company has in place and how, and you get down the process of whatever your new role is. You're going to stumble, you're going to mess up and make mistakes, but you'll learn along the way. And the more you do it, the more you'll be efficient at it. Now keep in mind that it's a constant growing process that doesn't happen overnight. That you could see and you could watch and you could look at a lot of personalities on online, especially on social media. And if you look down their history, it looks crystal clear and everything looks perfect. But I guarantee you that there are times where they did not have that perfect picture or that perfect wording. There are times where they didn't have that high end, high budget background and setup. And you have to realize that everybody has a growing process and everybody grows at various levels and at various rates. So whatever your process is, stay true to it, stay to who you are and you'll get there eventually. Just continue to improve on the little things and you'll get there eventually. Another thing I wanna be upfront and honest with you about is the support that you may hope and you may feel like you know that you could get is not going to always come. In fact, most times it won't come. There will be times where you feel like you could reach out to F and get support from friends and family members. But that is the wrong idea and that's the wrong mindset to have, right? Your friends and family members, one, for starters, they don't owe you anything. Two, your friends and family members have a mindset about who you are prior to you going after this business journey, who you are prior to this rebranding of yourself, and they sometimes may not be able to see your vision. Sometimes they may not be motivated to work on your vision, and also sometimes they might not have the capacity to help out and to focus on somebody else. Maybe they're 
have so much going on in their personal lives where they have to focus on themselves. Again, it is nobody's responsibility, it is nobody's job or duty to help you out. So if you want to get to your vision, so if you want to get to your vision, if you want to build your business to the point of success in which you want to see it, it's going to be on you. As I discussed earlier, you are going to have to take on all the different roles within your company and you are going to have to make sure that each and every department is running and operating at an efficient level. It is within those groups that will sometimes look at you and try to derail your path, whether they are putting you down, talking about you, or anything that will discourage you from continuing along your journey. And especially when you put yourself out there in the public eye, you put out your business, you put out your idea, you put out your product or your service, and you become vulnerable in the public space, people will look at you and say, hey, I know this person, and they weren't always like this. Who are they trying to be? Or who do they think they are? And it is up to you to continue to move in your purpose and move in your passion, move in your vision or towards your vision, because at the end of the day, what they have to say has nothing to do with you. At the end of the day, you are given this vision, you are given this passion, you are given this opportunity to go after your passion and your vision for a reason. And so it is up to you to continue to go and continue to work on it and continue to advance towards it. Not everybody is going to be supportive of you. Not everybody is going to be supportive of what you're doing or help you out in times of your need. Some people may not see your vision. Some people may not have the same passion or the same energy or the same enthusiasm as working on whatever your project or whatever your vision is. And there are a lot of other reasons why people may not come to support you. But either way, again, you have to be the person that works every single position within your company until you are able to grow and until you are able to get that help. And sometimes you might have to reach outside of your friends, your family members for that help, for that assistance. And you may have to pay somebody for it. And if you're not able to pay for uh, somebody's assistance, then you have to take it on yourself. It will be hard at times, but it's completely doable. It will make your process a little bit longer. But again, as long as you are consistently working on your ultimate goal and you are taking concrete steps to get there and you are improving in every aspect that you are working in, even if it's a little at a time, eventually you'll be able to bring everything together and it will be in sync and operating to your liking. And when you do start to funnel in and bring in revenue, from there you could reinvest in your company, improve some of the things that you are lacking in or some of the things that you need to improve, and you could continue to grow that way.